Hi friends, in previous video we learned a little bit introduction about the limits, what is limits, where we apply the limits, what are the uses of limits, this all we learned in previous video. Uh, now in this video we are going to learn the algebra of limits, right? Algebra, algebra of limits, okay? Means we can apply subtraction, addition, multiplication, these all things in the limits also, right? Uh, so, uh, before uh, learning the algebra of limits, let me suppose there are two functions, right? Uh, so function f and g functions, right? And both have the uh, existence of the limit, right? Uh, suppose a limit when x tends to a, f of x exists. And for gx also, limit when x tends to a, g of x exists, suppose, right? So now, we're learning a uh, uh, one by one the subtraction addition multiplication division these all will be learning right one by one so uh, first uh, let's study the addition right let's study addition okay now uh, suppose a limit when x tends to a suppose right and there is addition of the both functions right f of x plus g of x then what happens right in addition form now the addition of these both uh, functions taking limits right uh, when limit x tends to a f of x plus limit when x tends to a g of x means simply the limits of the function we can add easily means the uh, addition of the two functions and taking limits of them is exactly equals to the uh, limits of the both functions right so uh, this is uh, you can say a formula also right uh, it's a formula also so now another we are uh, going to do right uh, subtraction right subtraction now subtraction of the two functions taking limit what happens right suppose again limit when x tends to a f of x subtraction g of x again just like this uh, addition it will be right limit when x tends to a right f of x minus limit x tends to a right g of x means simply uh, if there is some difference of the two functions uh, taking limits it is again equals to the limit of the first second subtraction the limit of the second function right now uh, we are doing the multiplications right what happens in multiplication let's see multiplication okay now in multiplication also suppose mm, it's uh, again limit when x tends to a right f of, f of x times the g of x suppose f of x is multiplying the another function g of x then what happens we simply write like this see again limit when x tends to a f of x times limit when x tends to a g of x right simply the product of the two functions and taking limits uh, suppose we are finding out the limits of the product of the two functions then we simply uh, we can also do the uh, we, we can simply multiply the limit of the first function times the limit of the second function right so we can also do like this uh, uh, here is a special case suppose uh, su suppose some function is being multiplied by some constant right it's a, a so you can say a special case also right uh, again limit when x tends to a suppose some constant suppose uh, lambda is multiplying uh, function fx then how can we write like this in such conditions right we can take out the constant outside and again we can multiply the uh, uh, multiply the limit of the function by the constant means lambda means the constant times the limit of the function when x tends to a f of x right that means if uh, the function is being multiplied by some constant and we have to take out the limit of that then we we can simply do uh, we can simply multiply the limit of that function by that constant right so now uh, another one uh, the division one right so what happened in division let's study in division suppose uh, again limit x tends to a when one function is divided by the another function then how can we write that 
suppose f of x function is now divided by the g of x uh, and we have to find out the limit of this then we can simply find out the limit of the first function when x tends to a that is f of x right means the limit of the first function divided by a limit of the second function right like this we can easily uh, do it means uh, first function first find out the limit of the first function and divide it by the limit of the second function in such cases right so these are the four basic uh, algebra of the limits right uh, addition subtraction right addition subtraction multiplication and the limit and multiplication uh, uh, division here sorry <laughs> addition subtraction multiplication and division and this uh, is a condition uh, when a uh, when of suppose some function is multiplied by some constant uh, then we apply this kind of formula right so these are the fundamentals uh, concept you can say uh, or algebra of the limits now we'll be applying this algebra of limits uh, uh, in some examples in next videos and we'll be learning a little bit application of these all right so we'll be meeting in the next video with different kinds of problems right we'll be meeting uh, back bye